to say the housing market is hot, well, that would just be an understatement. Stay with me because we're going to go fast today. We sifted through several year-end reports and we're going to distill them all down for you starting now. Housing is hot. Actually, housing is scorching to new record highs. The medium home sale price increased 15% year over year. Highest on record. That's an insane pace. Pinning home sales are up 31% as well year over year. New listings, homes hitting the market, yeah, up 12% year over year. 40% of those listings went under contract within the first 14 days. And if that wasn't crazy, more than half had bidding wars. 54% nationwide with San Diego leading the way with 75% of their listings facing a bidding war. Denver at 66%, San Francisco at 65%, and my hometown of Seattle at 60%. And somehow our crazy little Chaz stunt didn't push people away from our hot market, but I digress and so does Seattle. Moving forward. Whew. While 54% bidding war seems high, it's actually down from 60% back in August. Here's a weird stat, 24% of homes sold this year were bought with cash. That's crazy, who has this cash? All kidding aside, it actually makes sense when you think about it. Why pay cash when you can leverage the bank's money so cheap? I mean, right? We will end with some housing predictions from Redfin's chief economist, Daryl Fairweather. She states the obvious right out of the gate. Mortgage rates will remain historically low at 3% in 2021. The next one is exciting and a little scary. I mean, I'll explain. There will be more home sales than any single year since 2006. Well, that's pretty exciting, but I can't help but have PTSD flashbacks to 2006 and the fallout thereafter. Similar, she predicts, there will be more new homes built than any other year since 2006. Again, cool, but dang, you know, 2006, Great Recession, followed by all the stuff that happened after that. Anyways, things are different this time, I get it. So we will move on to our last and favorite point. In 2021, the number of Americans relocating will be the highest it has been in 16 years. I've been calling it the great shuffle up and deal. Families across the nation are up and moving like I've never seen them before. Tens of millions have upped and moved to different states. Heck, east to west coast, west to east coast, as we settle into a pandemic and post-pandemic way of living. This reshuffle up and deal will actually help affordable cities like Buffalo, Cleveland, and Pittsburgh, and possibly hurt cities like Seattle and San Francisco. There'll be many employers who wanna take advantage of the fact that it costs a lot less to employ someone living in a place like Cleveland than a person with comparable skills in San Francisco. This will cause many employers to open and expand satellite offices in affordable cities and continue to offer the option for employees to work remotely from pretty much anywhere. I find this really, really interesting for some reason and believe this will be a game changer moving forward for everyone involved, employers, states, cities, and the American people. How do you guys think this will impact us moving forward? That's not a rhetorical question. Like, I really want to know. We would love to know your professional opinion in the comment section. Share this on social and get your friends and family's opinions as well. I think it's a good thing, but hey, that's just me. Let us know down below and we'll see you next week.